introduced to you the mighty man of God who's full of faith and power, none other than our minister in training, Minister Henry Jackson. Come on, and I want you to see, listen, smash those hearts, smash those likes. Let us know that you're here. Let us know and be able to cheer him on. Say, Minister Henry, type it in the comments. Minister Henry, preach the word of God on today. Listen, I'm turning it over to you, sir. All right. Uh, if you, uh, uh, if that uh, y'all can give me five minutes for a second for me to just take my medicine. Oh, um, sure. go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go ahead and do what you got to do. <clears throat> hey, listen, everybody who's tuning in, let us know in the comments where you're tuning in from. Let us know where you're at right now. Hey, listen, we got Brother Juan that's tuning in right now. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much for tuning in. On today, my cousin, Minister Henry, is bringing forth the word of God on tonight. And listen, keep tuning in because every single month when this man of God brings forth the word, we be shouting and cheering him on. And we be like, yo, that was totally amazing. So I'm just ready right now for you to release this word you ready now yes I'm yes ready. sir all right uh, listen they're in your hands deliver the word today all right so now i just wanted uh now i'll just like to uh uh thank my leaders first and foremost uh pastor shannon young and uh prophetess nadi young for actually giving me the opportunity to come before this evening um so i just like to praise god for them both but for for if uh, each and every one who's here to to see the word, then I would like you to what to pull out your Bibles and and to go with me in Second Kings. Um, Ooh, second. That, that's yes, yeah, Second Kings, chapter five. Uh-huh. It's going to be verse one through fourteen. Uh, but today, uh, now I've been sitting on this message for for quite a long time, so. No, I've been begging the Lord to to preach this, and the Lord just been telling me, no, just just, just wait on, wait on, wait on. And so, we when the Lord first gave me this message, uh, oh, I was so I was so prophetically hyped up. I wanted to divide this into three sermons, and so you know, I was gonna do part one, part two, and part three, and uh, yeah, all of it. It was gonna, gonna have shown, but the Lord told me that. You know, since I, I didn't have anything, the only thing I was left in my Bible, which was this one. And so, you know, when 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 my pastor told me, "Oh yeah, when well, the Lord wants you to use that one," and so I did. But when when, when I got into the Bible, uh, yeah, the Lord explained to me how He wanted me to deliver this message. So I do hope that that this is something that will bless you. So some of you maybe it, it is some, I want to say it's some stuck places. So you may feel like where you are, when you feel like you got the experience, uh, yeah, you have the training, yeah, you have the know-how, but the Lord just want me to tell you, but then there's a thing, there's a season that's critical for you to go through. And, and the reason why this is critical because I want to make sure that your heart is right. And so it, 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 it's, it's easy to go in with a degree and, and, and say, oh, I got my doctors in this. But it's a totally different thing you have to experience with people. And so you got to be able to understand that when these people come to you with their problems, that you can allow their questions to trigger you and get you all upset and bent up out of shape. And so now you're joining them in the argument instead of you giving them a solution which they came to before. And so, so, so today's sermon, I'm going to entitle it Heart Check. So, so in other words, if you know someone who you know who actually uh, 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 need need uh, de- developing in their character, then you may want to share this with them. So, um, so I'm just going going to read here for, in Second Kings chapter five, and I'm reading from the uh, voice translation, and it reads, uh, "Naaman's Naaman's master considered him an extraordinary man." He was the military commander of Abram's army. And he had won many important battles for Abram. But 
the power of by the power of the eternal by, by God. But naturally he was greatly esteemed by his king. Naaman was a fierce warrior, but he also had a skin disease. And, and now the Lord wanted me to tell you, uh, as you're reading this, I, the Lord don't want you to pay attention to his skin disease, but he wants you to pay attention to his heart. And so uh, as you do continue in the verse two, it said, now one time the, uh, the Amerians went out in raiding parties and, it, and took a little girl from Israel as their prisoner. Then the little girl became a servant to name his wife. So the girl spoke unto his wife, saying, verse 3, if only my master could be near the prophet in Samaria, that the prophet there could heal my sister's, could heal my master's disease. So Naaman became hopeful, and he went and told his king. And the little girl from Israel said, Come on. Oh uh, yeah, uh, okay. The video from say, and here's the king. Uh, here's the his king said that I am going to write a letter to Israel's king, and I want you to take it to him immediately. Naaman left with the king's letter in his hand, plus seven hundred and fifty pounds of silver, one hundred and fifty pounds of gold, and ten sets of fine clothing. So it's a Naaman handed the letter to Israel's king, and the king read it. And it said the the man. It said, "Yeah, the man carrying this letter is my servant." Okay, so the uh, king of Israel was not reading this letter that his king wrote for him, and it reads that the man carrying this letter is my servant Naaman, for he has a skin disease, and I request that you heal him. So, so the king of Israel ripping his clothes and he spoke and said, who does he think I am? Does he think I'm God? So why does Abram, why does Abram's king think that I have the power to kill and to make love again? And what in the world makes him think that I can heal you of your disease? And it is obvious that Abram King is trying to cross trouble between us. So Elijah, the man of God, the prophet within the city, uh, received the word that Israel's king had ripped his clothes. He he went crazy about about the man uh 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 uh, uh, uh him that he was asking for. So, and the the uh, uh, Elijah sent his king a message saying, "Tell the man who was." who has come to you for healing to come to me, then he will be assured that a prophet lives in Israel. Verse nine, that the king told Naaman to find Elijah. So Naaman showed up at Elijah's door with his horses and chariots. Elijah did not show his face to Naaman, but instead sent instructions through his, through his uh, princes. So his second man in hand went out to him Instead of him going himself, and he told him, he gave him the prophecy, the Lord told Elijah, and he said, wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times, and the water will heal you, and your skin will be back to normal, so you will be cleansed. And Naaman bowed with anger as he left Elijah, and he had came to his house expecting something much different. So... So Naaman uh, went out on a spin on, on, on a sprint and he got upset and said, What is this? I came here thinking that Elijah would come outside and call upon the name of the Lord, his God, and that Elijah's hand would pass over my sword and heal my skin disease. But not the waters of the Jordan River. Uh, oh the Lord help me with these two words. That the uh, Ab yeah, y'all see see those two words inside that Bible. And but it says and yeah. her fire rivers in uh -huh. Damascus. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And Damascus are greater rivers than all of the rivers of Israel combined. So so why could I just go bathe in one of those and, and be healed? 
Naomi then stormed away, bold with anger. The servants approached and spoke to him with respect. And, and one is a servant who looked at him as his son. Um, he, he, he was the father to him. So he spoke to him and he helped him to get himself together. And he said to him, Father, if the prophet had told you to, to do some important thing, wouldn't you have done what he asked? Why is it difficult for you to follow his instruction when he tells you, bathe yourself in the Jordan River and be cleansed? Verse 14, so Naaman swallowed his pride. He walked down to the Jordan River and washed himself seven times. And just as the man of God had instructed him to do, there the miracle occurred. Naaman's disease was healed. His skin was as new as an infinite behind. But as he was cleansed from, and he was cleansed from the disease. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, man, so the Lord wanted me to, to explain to you here that Naaman is a man of power. Naaman is a man who was who was uh, politically influenced by, by 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 the people within the city. So if you would look at Naaman as of today terms, we would look at him uh, as a Cohen Powell, which means he he was a man who was sitting right next to the president who was defending him. And so most importantly, he was actually his king personal bodyguard. So I believe that you know, as the king went went out throughout the city to go visit his people, he went with them. And so uh I believe on certain Sundays that they will go visit different churches around the city. And so Naaman heard different sermons. And so I, I know he heard a sermon a few times about God, but he never experienced him for himself. And so here it is, as he fought fought the 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 the, the uh, battle for his king, he fought the battle and he adopted his daughter. I know the Bible said that he that he took the girl at, uh, uh, once he beat it. The, uh, the people he took the daughter and took her at the server, but I'm gonna uh, 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 explain it that he that he is a man. He he's a man that he's a family man that he took this little girl in as his own daughter, and so even though that he even though she served him, um, but he he really raised her as, as his own daughter, and so he had another young man which we got to who had to. Help him to pull together. That was his oldest uh, uh, son. His oldest uh, uh, was the orphanage son. And so, uh, as he hear uh, uh, his wife and his adopted daughter sitting there talking to each other, and he overhears them talk about how they wish that he could be ill. Now, it's one thing for you to have a reputation, and for people to know who you are, and for people to know you as this big somebody. As to know you as this person that that you may may have bought millions of guys, you may have delivered a lot of folks, so you may have a title, you may have a spiritual father that may be a big name, that may be something powerful, and so it leads down to you. But but the issue here is, but the issue here is that the Lord does not, uh, uh, but the Lord wanted to show you that that He He don't want you paying attention to your your, your outside influence because. The thing he wants to work on you most is what's on the inside. So when he's outside the home, everyone know Naaman for who he is. So people may know you for who you are on the outside. People may know you when you got your clothes looking right, when you got your nails done, you got the hair fixed, you know, when you got got your good day, when you got your paycheck in, and and and, and so everything is being taken care of. So you good for now. But the thing the Lord notices is, but but when it comes time for, for me to deal with you personally when it's time for me to sit you down and, and to talk with you, to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, then you know you have issues that you have to deal with. And so the, the thing that you're asking the Lord for, uh, uh, maybe it be a wife, maybe it be a husband, maybe it be, be a new new job, maybe it be a leadership position or something that, that, that you may want it. And the Lord told you he's going to give it to you. But, but the reason why the Lord hasn't gave it to you yet, because the Lord wants you to understand 
that I that I need to fix your heart because where I am taking you, these these, these people is going to expect you to to be there for them. These people are going to expect for you to be their answer. These people are going to expect for you to what you know more than what you know. And so these people isn't just going to come to you for your educational purposes, but these people is going to want to connect with you on a personal level. So these people want to be able to 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 get close to you. And so and so as we begin throughout the journey, we know that he went to his king because he wanted his own presidential treatment. Uh, uh, here, so he went to his king directly, and he told his king, 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 king. My own daughter said that there's a prophet in Samaria that can definitely heal me, and so his king wrote him up a letter because he thought that by him going uh, uh, to his connections, and he thought by him going through the people who he knew that he was definitely going to get his healing the way how he wanted it to get done. And so as he go to go get his a letter written, he has a letter written, and his king sends him on his way to Israel. And so now he's in the car with his oldest stepson here, and they both riding. And, and remember, the, the Bible say he came with money, he came with gold and silver and with some clothes. And so he went there with some gifts, and he wanted to, 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 to uh, uh, how can I say it, Lord, uh, 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 where to shower you over or to win you over with gifts to, to, to let you know, you know, that you, that, you know, that you got money, that, that, that you got something going. And so he goes to the king and he goes to the king and he tells the king directly, king, here's my letter from my king. And so here's, he telling him, oh, 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 that will, so his king is asking the Israel's king that would you mind sending him to one of your best doctors? Would you mind sending him uh, uh, and set him up on a presidential suite? Because he is in need of this healing. And so here he is. Uh, 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 here's Israel's king pulling his hair out of his head, trying to figure out, you know, who do, that does he think that I am? You know, I, 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 I don't even think that I have man that's under my, my city that, that can do this type of thing. And so he, he rips off his phone and he gets upset. And, and, and he's thinking, you know, how this man is going to ask me to do something? that I know that, that I don't have the power or the capability or the connections to do. And, and, and so he's confused. And then Elijah hears about this. And so Elijah writes him a letter and he sends his king the letter and the king reads the letter directly to Naaman. And he says, uh, 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 the, the, the man that's standing right in front of you. And he said, would you mind sending him to me? Because maybe the Lord will give me the thing that he needs. And so now he, the king tells him, okay, you can go to Elijah. We, we finally got a man for you, so go to Elijah. And so he packs up his bag once again, and he goes down to Elijah's house. So he's in the car with his oldest uh, uh, orphanage son, and they go to Elijah's house, and he's excited. He's pumped up, he, and he can't wait for his son to come. So he gets to the place, and, 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 and the Lord was explaining to me that as he was getting to his place, you no, know, there's a uh, uh, there's a gate probably from his house or something. But as he's standing there, you know how influential and how powerful and how important Naaman is that he know that he is. You know, and and you know Naaman know that that you know he he's a man of value. He's a man of power. He's a man that that has connection. This is someone who you want to connect with. This is someone who you want to be around. But however, Elijah decided not to even see the man. And so instead of him going out to go tell Naaman what the Lord said, uh, Elijah sent his apprentice. So he has sent his, 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 uh, his second man in charge to go out to go tell him that the Lord said to go baptize yourself in the Jordan River seven times and he said, you shall be healed. And then and here's the thing that 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 where, where that really upset Naaman. What what upset him was the fact that he came all his way, and he got his presidential sweep. He got everything set up the way he wanted, and he thought he was going to be ushering in in this very powerful way. And, 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 and so when he gets there, now the thing doesn't go the way he wants it to go. And so have you ever been in the time of a situation where the Lord promised you that you was going to receive this thing, you was going to 
get healed, you was going to get blessed. But then how the Lord bless you, well, well no, it, it didn't quietly turn out the way how you had been on it turning out. And so, so you thought it was going to turn out in this magnificent way. Uh, 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 it, but, but instead, the Lord had other plans. And, 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 so, and so what's very interesting here, the Lord want me to point this out to you. When, when, when the princess told him, the Lord said to go wash yourself in the Jordan River. Okay, th th there's, a, there's a search I had to do on it. And the search was the Jordan River was the dirtiest river that there was inside the whole land. So, so in other words, it, 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 this was not just a river, you know, that, that people just go and fetch there, you go go get, get their fish out of, you know. No, this was a river where everyone went to go wash their clothes and, you know, wish to go do do uh uh do they you know uh work to do to, to wash their clothes and so so this water was, was dirty and, and so he was upset that the man told him to go to some dirty water and and, and that's why he said wait well, there's other two rivers that's close by you know that's more cleaner so why can't I go and go get baptized in there. But, but the Lord wanted me to explain to you at this point in time that, that the reason why I'm asking you to go bathe inside this dirty water is because this is your time of healing. And, and so the Lord said, when, when I heal you, I don't want your healing to be publicly known. I want your healing to be secretly known. And so the Lord decided to take you to the most dirtiest river where he know no one is at. So he decided to take him there and, and so he's frustrated and he's upset. And maybe you're upset because your leader asked you to do something that 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 may be underneath your potential. And so you're this anointed man of God, you this anointed a woman of God, and you trying to figure out how come the Lord haven't moved me up? How come the Lord haven't put me in position? Why haven't the Lord gave me this wife? Why haven't the Lord gave me this husband? And the reason why for it, because the Lord wanted me to, to explain to you the reason why, because he needs to get you all by yourself. And he needs you by yourself because the Lord needs to pull out of you. I believe the prophet Nadiju said on her prophetic lie, she said that, that the Lord needs to pull back layers. And, and so there are layers that the Lord needs to be able to pull off of you because these layers that's on you, is is your is your insecurities these these are what what we call in ministry your triggers so so in other words you know when someone do something to you or or someone says something or speak to you a certain way then you got the nerve to be offensive about it and so the the, the Lord does not want you to be triggered because what what if these people come to you with their problems and they live through the same problems that you went through. So they come to you expecting an answer, but you instead of you giving them an answer, you but instead of you giving them an answer, what you're doing is you want to jump in on the conversation and you want to complain with them instead of you giving them the solution to their problem. And, and, and so now the people need someone who they could they they they, they, they can trust in. And so they and so oh, as I was saying here, uh, uh, as he goes down to the Jordan River, Namus is upset, and so he goes to. Uh, arguing and, 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 and outrageous. So now I can't 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 believe that that this man of God that I can't believe he had me uh, drive all, all the way out here to come see him, but he won't even got the nerve to come outside and come see me. And so so he's so he's upset about the fact that this man never came outside and come see him. And so as he so as, as he's on his rent, is a very important part of this scripture and so his adopted son steps out of the chariot steps out of the car and and so he said to him pops say like, what you mean to tell me all this time we 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 didn't pack our bags we didn't got all this set up and, and now you want to go against now you want to to complain and argue that the man of god you know wants you to go 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 dip in, in the jordan river you know, if he <coughs> if he asked you whether to do something political that you knew how to do, then would would you have an issue with doing it then? And, and so his son brings to his attention and said to him, Pops, yeah, I know we didn't come all this way for nothing. And, and, and so he so Naaman knew that he had to take his pride. 
And so some of us may have pride. So the Lord may try to get us to our next destination. So he's the Lord asking for us to be humble, but we refuse to reject the Lord humble situation because if we feel Lord, yeah, I went through this and, and we been through this together. And I thought that I was going to get blessed in, 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 this, in this powerful way. And, and I, I'm waiting for this Lord, but the Lord said, but I need to deal with your heart. And so he sends it to the Jordan River. He now has to swallow his pride, which means you got, got to let go of your your way of doing things because the Lord said, I have a way of, 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 of doing it myself. And so now the Lord sends him to the Jordan River. Now he goes to the Jordan River and now it's time for him to get back. So now it's time for him to dip in the, the stock of water. And so this is a situation to where now you decide to submit to, to this very disgusting, to the down, greater thing the Lord asked you to do. And so in the first two times, the first two dips, you know, yeah, we know how we are, you know, when someone asks us to do something, oh, no, no, I, you know, yeah, we just, you know, uh, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go, 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 go dipping inside that water. And, and so instead of him going confidently, yeah, he got, got, so he has to push himself to go. And so as he goes to the Jordan River, he dips uh, uh, the first two towns, you know, still inside this, 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 this uh, type of thing. So he dips and he dips the, the, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, and the sixth time. But the word is important here that, that I ask the Lord, what is so important about him dipping seven times? And so the, the Lord said to me that the number seven prophetically mean perfection. It means completion. And so the Lord said, when you get through this healing process with me, I, I want to make sure that you're completely healed because the man that comes up out of that water, I do not want you to be that man you used to be or that or that man that, that you used to. So you used to, to cuss people out when, when, when it got on your nerves. You used to tell people to their face exactly how you feel. And, 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 and so you would be a very expressive person. But the Lord said, but when you come up the seventh time, the Lord said, I, I, I want all, all of those, all of those emotional feelings that, 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 that you're complaining about, all of those things that's holding you back. The Lord said, that's why I brought you here so you can wash off those things so that you, you can let go of those things. Because while you're in the water, the Lord said, I'm trying to pull off the insecurity. I'm trying to pull off the rejection that you've been fighting with. I've been trying to pull off these things that you've been dealing with for years. And the Lord said, I finally got you into a point. I finally got you into a position as to where I could finally do well what I want with you. And so now the Lord got you dipping. The Lord got you being humble at this specific time. And as you being humble, the Lord begins to pull off of you shred by shred these, these, these things that you've been battling with for years. Because the Lord said, because but by the time you come up, by the time you come up the seventh time, the, the person that I want people to see out of you is someone powerful, is someone anointed, is someone that, that has something to offer. And, and, and so, in other words, when he comes up the seventh time and the scripture said, and he was healed immediately. And, and, and so, in other words, the, the Lord wants people to notice your character and notice, oh, oh, you're not the same person who you used to be. You know, or you look the same, but you don't act the same. And, and so you, you know, that you used to cuss people out, but but now what they do, you home, you you pray for them, you, you know, yeah, you want them to go through deliverance, and you want to help them with their problems. And so so you see the transitional here. And so as you may be going through a time right now, and you may be asking why the Lord is holding me back from my wife, and just like I I I just got for a wife too. But I know the Lord said to me, but I got to deal with your heart first because I don't want the woman, uh, your future wife to approach you. And the first thing she knows about you is the fact that you that you have an issue. Yeah, you were being by yourself. And so, and so she may go to the grocery store and she may be five minutes late coming home. But you thinking that she's cheating or you thinking she she got a side man. And, and so now you end up ruining your opportunity just, just because you have trust issues. And so the Lord wanted me to explain to you the reason why he got you in this position, the reason why he got you here 
is because he wants this position that you're in now to be a healing uh, uh, situation for you because he needs to begin to pull it off of you because when he puts you or when he introduced you to your husband, when he introduced you to your wife, what he wants them to notice, he wants them to notice uh, 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 the, uh, uh, that that you is a man or a woman without spring, uh, without wrinkles or spots. And, and, and so now the Lord wants to present you effectively uh, to his people instead of you going broken with, with all these bruises, all these cuts, and you're complaining about how people uh, uh, you uh, used to treat you, and you sitting there talking about you know uh, your past stuff. But the Lord told me to tell you, but to let let that go. And so the Lord said, this, this is the time where I want you to let it go because the people who I'm sending you to is going to need this from you, uh, the same hurts that you went through. And so, uh, so so when Naaman received his healing, yeah, I want you to receive your healing. And, and so now I just want, want want to pray for you as I do eh, 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 uh, as I do close the doors. Well, dear Heavenly Father, yeah, I do come to you boldly by your throne of grace. And I ask you to lay hands on this man or woman of God that who's ever, that who is whoever this is for, that's in need of a healing situation, that's in need of a heart shape. Heavenly Father, I ask that you lay hands upon them. And you and you pull off of them the layers and the insecurities and the doubts and, and, and all of these things that, that that they have that that's getting in their way. Holy Spirit, I ask that you pull off of them these layers of of, of, of these layers that's keeping them back from where you want them to be. Uh, 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 that that I do ask, ask that that everything that you want want from them that you pull it out of them so that they can be made new again so that they they can be be made a powerful man or powerful woman of God that they be able to be in your complete service and so that they become that, that they become a, a, a experiencing uh, revolution for other folks yes. in the wonderful name of Jesus and just say in Jesus name amen and amen amen so I, uh, so I just like to say that, that, that the doors of the church are now open so I, I would like to give it over to the hands of Pastor Shannon and the young. Wow. I'm telling you, Minister Henry, you you never cease to amaze me with with the words that you give every, 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 every single month. Let me tell you something. I was for real blessed by that. That that word actually spoke to me. And when you talked about um Going to get washed in the river Jordan when turn the turn the uh, music down. Oh my bad. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't hear you. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me say something. While you, <laughs> I should have turned it on, but while you was back here uh preaching, yeah. I, was, I had the I had the preaching music going on for you. I said, oh, Minister Henry. I said you tuned up a little bit. I said, okay, I had to give you a few little, uh, I had to give you a few little, uh, I don't know if you can hear it. I had to give you a few of these little, little in here. Oh, man, I, I, man, I wish I could have heard you. <laughs> yeah, I will be, yeah, I will be preaching like a Baptist preacher preaching on Sunday service then. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would send you the clips. I'm telling you, but I was like, man, that man, he 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 giving some good, really good word. But I never really realized that um, through uh, when they, when when he told him to go wash in the River Jordan several times, I, I never really looked at and researched that. Wow, he told him to go 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 dip seven times in the dirtiest, dirtiest. Yeah. the dirtiest river. Like, yeah, why, why don't you tell me to go, go wash <laughs> yeah. the main rivers? Right. And, yeah. and a lot of people don't understand. In the Bible times, they they ain't have washing machines then. Huh. They, they they didn't have huh. toilets the way that you know here in the Western world, the United States, that right. They ain't got they ain't, they ain't had no toilets and things of that nature. 
they had to go wash themselves in the dirty river. And so that right there, yeah. wow. But through the obedience yeah. of him listening to the prophet, he received his healing. Yeah. And a lot of times that's all we got to do. I, I like what you said. You said that, um, you know, a lot of times that you have to pull off layers. That, like like yeah. my wife said, you have to, layers have to be able to come off it. Listen, let me tell you something. On tonight, I want to challenge every single person tonight who's listening, who may have um, been listening to, to the word on tonight. Listen, your healing, your breakthrough is here and available tonight for you. It's, it's time for you to go dunk yourself in the River Jordan. It may not be the best spot, but God is calling you to be obedient in this hour. But it, it says, you said it didn't turn. Yeah, it, I made a point here. It said it didn't turn out the way that I thought, but God had other plans. Yeah. I'm telling you, God has a plan. The Bible says in Jeremiah, he said, I know the plans that I have towards you, said the Lord, plans of peace and not of evil. He knows the plans that he has for you. Listen, it may not has happened or may not be happening the way that you think God has had it set up, uh, uh, what you thought in your mind, how it's supposed to be. But God has a great plan for you. Listen, I'm not coming back here to preach right after you. Somebody's going to have to go back and <laughs> listen to the word for themselves. <laughs> listen, this just been, been been totally awesome. On tonight, um, if you, uh, Minister Henry just opened the doors to the, to the church, and he said if anybody who wants to be a part and be a member of One Touch Ministries, or if you want to partner with us, it doesn't cost you anything to partner with us. It doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything. Only thing we do is actually to partner with us. And when you partner with us, a lot of times we just say, hey, you know, share our flyers, or hey, if the Lord, the Lord leads you to give something, then give something. Or, you know, if you need prayer, we are here to pray for you. We have uh, myself, we also have Minister Henry, we have uh, my wife and many others who are here to pray for you in your time of need, in your situation. So listen, don't be afraid to be able to reach out to, one, to someone here at One Touch Ministries, as well as uh, a One Touch Ministries location in Kenya. We have Pastor Ortino, he got a chance to listen to you for a little bit. So he probably just waking up and got a chance to saw that we were live and wanted to cheer you on just a little bit, let you know, hey, listen, I got your back. So we want to thank God for him and, his, and the family as well. It's already Sunday morning over there in Kenya. And so, um, you know, uh, they're getting probably getting ready for service. Pastor Ortino wakes up every single morning between five and six o'clock in the morning to pray. So I'm pretty sure that he's probably starting to pray um and i'll probably announce this again on tomorrow but listen congratulations to our lead pastors in kenya one touch ministries international kenya pastor jackson and pastor maureen just had a wonderful beautiful baby boy so wow. listen, congratulations on that and we're gonna um uh, talk more about that on tomorrow and uh, I'll probably re uh, receive permission to be able to, because I don't, I just don't like to do certain things without people permission. So uh, I know they probably don't mind me um, saying that they um, actually had a baby, um, but uh, I don't want to be able to show pictures, and I want to receive uh, permission from them first. Um, also, listen, if you want tonight, if you want to help out the ministry on tonight. We are actually asking everyone who's watching today to be able to give. You can give by way of Cash App. Um, and it is dollar sign number one touch M. As well as you can go to our Givelify app. We can also give an offering on tonight. Uh, so usually, so sometimes we do it. We, we do 
uh, a love offering for Minister Henry as he's doing the Saturday Night Lives. But he said, hey, listen, during this time, just want to be able to bless the church and bless the church family during this time. So listen, every gift that's given on tonight is actually going towards um, the ministry. And so we want to thank you in advance in investing in the kingdom of God. So listen, before we leave on today, um, I just want to again congratulate you and thank you so much, uh, Minister Henry, for giving that dynamic word. Like, I don't believe in coming behind a preacher and, and, and preach the message again, but there was just some key points in there that I was just like, man, this this is an awesome, dynamic word. And if people actually sat back and listened to what you were saying, you were saying, you were saying a lot of the things prophetically. And listen, a lot of you people need to go back and listen to some of those things that you are saying. So listen, it's going to be a blessing. On tomorrow, we're going to be live on, we're going to be on Zoom tomorrow again. So all the members uh, who are members of One Touch Ministries, you're welcome to join us tomorrow at 3 o'clock p.m. Um, to join us for service. I'll be giving the message on tomorrow. You almost tapped into, the reason why I don't want to say too much, because you almost tapped into my message on tomorrow. So I need you to stop Minister Henry being on one accord with me like that. Because you don't, you have no idea that tomorrow I'm preaching about healing. Oh, wow. I'm preaching about healing. Wow. So don't be surprised if you hear me talking about this story right here. Because it was out of the obedience wow. of, from the man of God. That, 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 that go, by commanding him, go, let's go, go dip seven times. Go wash in the river Jordan. Go wash and be clean. Wash and make yourself clean. So listen, so just in case. I'm just saying it right now, just in case you hear a little bit or a little snip bit on it, just know that, listen, I'm, I, I've been in this um, sermon series called The Guarantee. God has guaranteed us certain things. Um, one of the things that he guaranteed us is that, listen, when we leave here, when we leave planet Earth, that we're all going to heaven. He said, I go away to prepare a place for you. And where I go, you know where I'm going. And I go to prepare a room for you. I go prepare a house for you. I go to prepare a mansion just for you. God guarantees us that. God has guaranteed us that if you if we call on him, seek his face, turn from him wicked ways. He said, I will hear from heaven, heal the sick and heal the land. God made us a promise. He given us a guarantee that he's going to do exactly what he says and on tomorrow i'm going to be talking about healing god has promised to heal us heal us he said i wish above all things that number one you'll be prosperous and be in good health even as your soul prospers so god wants us to be healed if there's anybody who's sick if there's anybody who's afflicted if there's anybody who's around you I want to be able to pray for them personally live on Facebook live on the Zoom. I need for you guys to come into the Zoom. So even if you're starting off watching on Facebook and you say, hey, Matt, Pastor Shannon, I need for you to pray for me. I'm going to send you the Zoom link. I'm actually to come to the Zoom and I'm going to pray for you. Give your word from the Lord and believe God for your healing. Hey, listen. I'm about to live in this life right now just because I don't want to go too much more into it. Again, thank you so much for those of you who's watching right now on uh, Facebook. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the ones that are giving. We already have a few people that's already giving. Thank you so much for giving uh, and into this time and in this season. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Bishop Robert, for coming in. Thank you so much for Brother Juan. Uh, for coming in and listening. Amen. And so, um, any other final thoughts before we leave, uh, Minister Henry? Oh, oh, uh, Mr. Uh, no, no, sir, the, 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 the only thing that I really want to uh, uh, press out to everyone, um, 
because no, I hear the Lord keep meaning to know that I want you to be healed. I, I want you to be healed. And so, you know, no, I don't want your I, I, I don't want your plans to get in the way in what the Lord has for you. Yes. So so I do ask that whatever the Lord asks you to get rid of, get rid of it, whatever the Lord asks you to, to renew your mind uh, on, please renew your mind with, with, with whatever the Lord asks you to connect to the, the new leader you want you to be under, please do it because the, the, uh, because this is a season where the Lord needs to move you into position so that you yes. can receive the, 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 the real blessing that the Lord has promised you. And so the Lord want me to make very specifically to say to you, he need to take you through this because he doesn't want you standing in front of people leading them with you still being broken yourself. And yes. So he, 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 he doesn't want you all wounded, that is it up and you holding on to all these, these past things. And so, because when these people come to you, they're coming to you with their wounds and their hurts and, and their yeah. emotional things. And so the Lord doesn't need their emotions to trigger you. And so, and, and so, and so I, I'm just asking and I'm praying that everything that you in need of deliverance of, everything that you need of healing of, that you receive it in the name of Jesus. And yeah. so that you could begin to walk forward with power and with, with power and with this might. And yeah. so that when people see you, that they don't see you how they used to see you, but they see you as that powerful man. They see you as that powerful woman. They see you as someone that's a changed individual. So when people see you there, they're not looking at you, but they're looking at Jesus. They're looking at the new you, that they're looking at the the, the, the thing that, that the Lord been prophesying to you. That oh, uh, that Lord said for what's in you, I'm gonna pull it out of you for for, for what's been in you for the thing I, 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 that you've been tell that you've been tugging and pulling on for so long. I'm trying to get it out of you. So the Lord said, I need to put you through a process. I need to put you through the fire to burn off that 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 mail do off of you. So so then you could be made new. So when I put you out there, you could be received with power and with authority and, and with His might. And, and, and you can rule with an iron fist, praise the Lord. And, and, and so, no, the Lord wants you to, to, to be successful in, in, in your marriage, if that's what you ask him for. The Lord wants you to be successful in your ministry. The Lord wants you to be successful in your business, in that school that you're trying to build. The Lord wants you to be inspiring. But the Lord said, I need to make sure that your personal issues is dealt with. Be because if you don't deal with them, then they're going to be looking at your personal issue rather than looking at you for what you're trying to bring to them. Uh, uh. So now I do pray for you that you do get the healing that you need so you can be this powerful person that the Lord has prophesied on you being in your life. And so, you know, as I as I said on tonight, I, I wish everyone a blessed afternoon. Oh, yeah. I, and there's another thing I, I want to shout because the, the Lord well this morning my, my little sister uh, messaged me and she told me that her mother did, 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 I believe her mother got just got out of the hospital so she's back home and so you know she's been fighting cancer uh, uh I, I don't know for how long but but she texted me this morning telling me that she decided that she's back home with, and she so she's helping out her mom around the house so I I, I, I just thank the Lord for, for making that happen for me and so yeah, that, that 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 that's a real you know powerful thing for me. So I thank the Lord for that. So Pastor Shannon, I do turn it back over in, in the hands of you. Wow. <laughs> well, listen, we're just gonna pray out right now. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done on tonight. God, thank you, God, for allowing these your people who are here on today be able to receive the word that was spoken on today. Allow them to be able to hear the word, receive it with power and with demonstration and that God allow them to know that Father God, that their complete healing right now on, on today is due to their obedience. We thank you God for doing it in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hey, listen guys, again, like I said before, make sure you join us on tomorrow at three o'clock p.m. We're going to have our Sunday celebration service again live right here on Zoom. 
as well as we'll also be going live on Facebook as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and have a blessed day.